Uh, you probably rarely <coughs> use these things here, but what you might find yourself using, right, under content administration is uh, importing metadata, I guess. So we, we looked at batch, batch import, right? You create that zip file and you upload it. But there are instances where you might want to update a, a records at one time, just the metadata. And I think, uh, if you remember, I don't know if people are still uh, tired here, but we still have, what's, what's your time? <laughs> Since 12.07, we still have uh, 53. <laughs> no, no, but it's, it's up to 13, the program is up to 13 now. <laughs> But, but let me just uh, let me just let, let me just quickly show us uh, uh, you know sometimes we just don't do was in some workshops you know I've been in workshops where people say we have to do this up to 13 because they said we must be up to 13 because I think the allowances or something but we're doing this so that I guess we learn I know people are tired but we are recording this um, <laughs> but anyway so observe this the way we this is the last part right under content administration. I want to show us how you use this import metadata feature. Right? Mm -hmm. A classic use case is if we, if we check, if we go to the repository home and we, we, we look at all the different thematic areas, right? Or of JCTI repository and we go on, uh, uh, sorry about that, we go on communities and collections, right? And um, I hope I've been trying to space here because I'm. Okay, it's still more space because I've been recording since morning. Um, so, so observe, right? In in cost of living, we have the things we've been uploading, right? Under BNNB and then under reports, we have six hundred and ninety-seven reports, right? Now, imagine, right? Imagine a situation where you have not you actually. And this will happen. I, I promise you, not that I'm. Uh, uh, this will happen because there's a volunteer. They don't have uh, domain expertise in JCTR. They'll find themselves in a situation where they are asking for input from you. What should I add here? You are too busy to respond, right? And for her to progress, she will add these things. And you notice there's a mistake. And this mistake has been made on a lot of things, right? This is the example I'm looking at. If we look at, um, if we look at, uh, if we look at uh, an example item, I'll just go to the repository here and look at an order item, right? This Monze 2018 BNNP. Um, if we if we look at the full item record, right? What you will notice is that there is a mistake, and I hope the mistake is here as well. Here. Under description dot sponsorship, right? The mm, the the we were told, right, that this is not supposed to be Irish aid, right? It's supposed to be Irish aid and joint country program. Now think about this for a second. If you're saying, if you're saying, assuming, and I know some of these, like the tw beyond tw you said beyond 2020 or something. It's a different sponsor, right? But still, let's just assume the mistake has been made on these 697 things, right? You can't say, well, you can if you want to. If people choose to do things different, right? You can start editing one by one these 697 items, right? Changing Irish aid to Irish aid and joint country program. Irish aid and joint country yeah. program, right? <laughs> 600 times, but of course, not use a volunteer. But the easiest thing to do is you can do a batch edit. And the way you do a batch edit is you navigate to the collection that has those problematic things. So in this case, it's here, right? Advocacy on living conditions. I'll click that. Um, and I have all the submissions here. Right? If I scroll down here, you notice that there's an option that says export metadata, right? Right? And, uh, and I hope this is not just a metadata for thing. I think this is the correct approach, right? This is C here. I think it is, right? Forgetting the process of It is, right? For this one, exporting for everything in that particular Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so we export, we've exported this, right? You notice this is coded in a certain way. So what I'll do is I'll go to, um, I'll go to um, downloads and then I'll just check to see if that file is there. Uh, I'll just order these by, by date so that I see this file. This is a file that we've created. Now, the thing is because um, I don't want to use CSV, I'll just use a text editor here. But it's the one. I'll, I'll do both actually. I'll open it using LibreOffice Calc as well. So what we've done is we've we've exported all of those 600 plus items, right, in a in a in a CSV file, a comma separated values file, right, CSV. Um, and so what we can do with that file is because you can open this in Excel, in Google Sheets, right? Is we're going to open it up using a spreadsheet, and then we're going to edit out. We're going to make changes to the problematic portion. All right? It's taking a while here because there are quite a number oh, of them. As it's uh, taking a while there. Yes. You can just uh, go a step uh, behind. Yes. So we are under advocacy on uh, Yes. Yes, there. Then how do we move from there? How do we export? All right. So when you go to the collection that has the things you want to edit. Yes. You scroll down, mm -hmm. and then under uh, under context, you have edit collection, item mapper, export collection, and then there's export metadata. You choose yes. export metadata. When you click that, you're downloading a CSV file that has all of those for, know, that, uh, for that collection. So all of the things in that collection are going to be uh, done. And I assure you, but, uh, so I don't know if this is coming from, but, but I think th this project also involves an uh, issue of quality assurance, right? I think adherence. So I think the next stage is you're supposed to identify entities that are going to check to see if you're adhering to these things, right? What those people are going to be doing is they'll be checking against this sort of thing, right? The consistency in the way you're uploading things, right? Naming conventions and all those things. Are you adhering to RDM guidelines and all those things? So it would be nice to do this, I guess. <coughs> uh, but also, it's, it's, I think, for the benefit of JCTR. So observe, I have, and I, I don't know how I feel about doing this, right? Because I, if, I, if we say we use, uh, this is quite sad. If I, OK, it's fine. I'll open this, but I won't edit it in here. Because if I open this using comments, because there are, uh, no, I think it will work. I'll just untick the the pipe, right? So if I open this up, right, I now have all of the 600 plus items, right? If you notice, these things here. I'm going to blow this out so that you see. These are, if I check here, 712 minus 1 because the first one is the header, right? I don't know why I have these. Uh, could, we, could we have made a mistake? How do we have... So do we have this, this many items? Maybe some of them have even been authorized, right? Yeah, so no, so I've ex we've exported from this. My, my concern is we've exported from, maybe you've authorized some of them in the process because we exported, uh, if you notice, we ex if you go in here, we exported, uh, I thought we exported, I thought we had uh, something like, uh, if we're going to be in B or under reports or something. We have, uh, maybe this hasn't been updated. By the way, uh, sorry for the whispers, but if you go under communities and collections, and you want to be careful when you're doing a batch edit, you might, you might be wanting to fix a problem, but you end up causing more problems, right? <laughs> and then you'd have to start from scratch here. But this is what I was talking about. If you look at this hierarchy, cost of living, BNNP, Oh, it is. Okay, you've authorized some of them. Wonderful. So 702. And then if we check here again, if I come to the bottom, 702. Yes. All right? Okay, this is wonderful. So something else that uh, uh, we've noticed, when you export this, you also export the ID of the user here, right? So what might be ideal here is uh, you just edit this. Yeah? 
embedded Hume search, embedded in search for something that they used to be using on the field export. Searching for the items? Yes, the ones that you imported. Oh, no, no. So what we are, what, what we are doing <coughs> here is, in fact, one of the things to do is just to search those with Irish aid and filter them out. What we are doing is we are just trying to, um, if, you, if, you, if you see what works, if the metadata value hasn't changed, you're not updating anything. So what, what, we are, what we are doing is we are changing, we want to change this field here, this. So if, we're not, if we don't change this, it will remain as is, because we're just reporting it the way it is. All right. <coughs> and I've noticed some funny stuff in there. Yes. In the same Excel sheet. Yes, like which one? Sponsors. On the sponsors? Those, the, those with the low ones, like they were just go down. This, right? That one, yes. OK, that would be a sponsor. The this, 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 this is good. So what we can do is? The number of them, actually. Um, it could be. No, it could be that. Uh, what what we can do is we can. Uh, this is one. We can ch check to confirm, and this is where I was saying you want, to <laughs> you want to be very careful here because you end up making mistakes here, right? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come here and then we'll check that object to see how it appears, right? Twelve sixty nine. This is the one. We'll view the full item record. Here's the funder details here. It's sponsored. Oh, it's sponsored. <coughs> so this is interesting because uh, I believe this 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 has missing sponsorship detail, right? So I, th I think it's a way that the export has been done somehow. There's a missing record and which which other one has, has this again? It's you can also check uh, the number of the watcher. You can also check uh, 36. Row 36. Row 36. Oh, yes. <coughs> uh, they, they oh, sorry. Ah, this is uh, now. I thought uh, you work with quantitative data. You would know that uh, it could be that uh, it's a uh, wrapping, right? Yeah, I figured out. I think. Well, I'm guessing here. It's the text spans over. So if you format that that row in such a way that uh, yeah, wrap it, the, you will notice it's blank. And I wonder where I can wrap this. Format. Do I have to format cells? I haven't. I mean, I don't use uh, Excel a lot myself. I mean, I don't use uh, this a lot myself. I use format cell. I use uh, Google Sheets a lot. So, I'll wrap. have you managed to wrap it? What you notice if you wrap this and we go to you said thirty six, right? If you, we wrap this and we go to 36, you notice that it's blank. Have you noticed? Or oh, actually, what you do is go to, go to column F, go to F36, and check if there's a value there. F36? Yeah. <coughs> it's, it's now, it's empty. Uh, yes. So, so the uh, and if you notice, right? F F thirty six. If you notice, the the ID of this is here, right? Observe, the ID is, is here. It's the ID of that object is uh, is the prefix and then four fifty three. If we check it in the repository, now this is where we say quality assurance, right? If we check for twelve thirty six, and we view the full item record. Right? <coughs> what you notice is the person who entered this did not enter the sponsorship details. Yes, after I've just verified yeah. all those that were showing that. All they are blank. Yeah. So, by the way, thank you for that. So, you see, <coughs> the blank sponsorship details, if there are a lot of them, how do you correct them? You don't manually, but well, you can, to each his own. Right? Um, but what's better is you do a batch edit like this. 
But of course, this would be a bit difficult because you'd have to check if those now entries are associated with uh, is it Irish aid and joint country program or if they are yeah. yeah. So you'd have to do that. But but what's what's important is if you're use, if you're using a spreadsheet, you can easily copy across formulas, right? Copy values that are yes. missing. That's 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 a yeah. yeah. If that makes sense. Now, to avoid mistakes, what I wanted to, to suggest is maybe we okay, we can do a, a batch edit of all of them if you want. This is where mistakes may be made, but or something. But I don't think we can make mistakes, right? <laughs> she can always redo it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we haven't backed up also, right? That's okay. But it's okay. I, I don't think we'll make a mistake. The only thing we have to do is under users here. We just have to fix this because it exports the user ID as well. This we've noticed. It's, a, it's just a, a minor issue. So what I'll do is I'll just replace everything here in this section. Everything here will, will be... In fact, there are some entries where we have no... We omitted the authors, I believe. I don't know if this is the one, but... So there's one item. That's fine. I will Maybe an order item. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just copy this. Actually, what I'll do is I'll copy this and paste it here first. And, and if you notice, there are some entries where people are entering JCTR twice accidentally. So this is where batch editing comes in. This is a classic example. We can check it actually as well. This item 675. So I'll come here and check here. 675. You will notice that it will have two authors, two duplicate JCTR authors. If we uh, if we expand, if you notice here, this was a mistake, right? We are not supposed to have two JCTRs, just one. So somebody accidentally it was a data entry error, and this is how you, you easily correct data entry errors because you do this in batches, right? It would be difficult for you to realize that uh, somebody accidentally entered JCTR twice here, but from here we know. Right, so I'll come here and I'll just replace everything here with, with JCTR. This is a change I'm making here. I'll paste uh, values only, text and numbers. And then I'll also do, here is where I can do a search, right? Here, where I say for all those with Irish aid, not everything, because there are some with Scottish Catholic International Aid Fund, right? And, and, and Norwegian's Church Aid, and, uh, is Danish uh, Catholic Aid. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just, edit, I don't know if it's, edit Irish head, um, and then say in here, and this is where your Excel sheets would come in hand actually. I'll do a, a, a replace, I'll, I'll do a, an exact match search, right? So I want to, current selection only, and I want to, uh, to make sure that this is case sensitive, and then also entire cell, so I'm searching in an entire cell, the usual Excel stuff, and then for everything where the value is an exact match for Irish aid, I'm going to change this to Irish aid and joint. joint. Yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I will, I will do a, a replace. So I've replaced 403 items, right? Okay. Something else I might want to do is because there was some initial when we started, some colleagues were entering Irish aid and JCP. That's again uh, a correction that needs to be made because we said that JCP should be in full. So what I'll do is I'll select again and then I'll say, uh, I will search, this could be in Excel, I'll search Irish aid and JCP and then change this to, to Irish aid and I think there's origin country program here. An exact match here and then I'll say replace all. I've replaced 71. So clear, 71 entries had, had an inconsistent description for the fund or the sponsor, right? Um, right? Once I do this, um, I don't know if there's anything else that needs to be changed, but you can figure out what needs to be changed later on, but just to showcase, if, to check if this is going to work. Now what I'm going to do is, I am going to, I don't know if the ID is going to be, it's going to be there. ID, I'm going to save this, right? I'm, I'm just going to do a, well, I'm just going to save it in the same location. So save it. Um, in the same format, the way it is, and then to to check if what we've done is correct, we can we can we can see we can we can check if 
if this thing here, we, we were, this, this entry here will have uh, only a single JCT here, and then also, <coughs> we use this as an example actually. We'll first of all check if this example record will only have a single JCT here, and also, if instead of Irish, there's no sponsor here, right? No, this one has no spawn. Oh, right, right. Oh, this is a bad example, it has, but that's fine. But we can, we can always, is there something we can open up? Uh, can we check an entry that had just JCP? Uh, and then we'll use that as an example before we make the change. So, but anyway, so I've sa we've saved that, right? And what we do now is you have to be logged on as an admin, right? For you to update. Remember, you are making these changes in a spreadsheet somewhere, a CSV file. When you edit that CSV file and you save it, what you do is you log in. Once you log in, you navigate to the collection which uh, has the changes you want to make, right? So I'll go on communities and collections. And then, I don't know if you found a sample that we can use that just has JCP. It's, it's uh, things that are older than, check for anything from 2017. Yeah, um, 2017 going back. So we know that those changes have to be made in cost of living BNNB reports, right? And in advocacy on living conditions. So I'll click on this. You click on the collection that has the items you want to edit. And then under, you scroll down here, under where it says content administration, right? You contextualize this, so you expand this, and then you click on import metadata. Right, you click on import metadata and then you browse to select the CSV file that you've edited and saved. Um, I believe in my case, this thing is in the downloads folder and it's the most recent file that I was working on, so I can easily these are ordered by date. I believe this is the file here, right? This is the one I was working on, and I've saved this. This is saved, right. I'll close this. I don't know if you found the sample. You want to check for 2017. So what you can do is you can, yeah, that's an, a classic example. You check if this, the funding is Irish aid. What, uh, what ID is that? Or cancel this. This one is 995. 995. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check for item 995 and 995. What you notice for item 995 is just a random check. I mean, I, and I know people here in JSTL said, but uh, how about statistical significance here, one item? Right? But, but, I mean, <laughs> um, what we're trying to see is when we do the batch edit, will this change hmm, from Irish aid to Irish aid and joint country program? Also, when you do a batch edit, will this change? Because this has a duplicate entries for author, we've corrected this. Yes? Yeah. Sorry? You can also add 994 as well. 994, yeah, we'll look at that. So what we're going to do is we've edited the metadata file, and then we're going to upload this edited file, right, which is in downloads, in my case, is here, right? Uh, this one here, 618. Right? After I select this file, uh, if, 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 I, if I haven't messed up with a CSV file again, then say upload this CSV file. Now the thing is, there's unique keys in there, right? The ID is unique to each of the records we've edited. So the system knows to say, when I see this ID and the value has changed, I'll change it to the corrected value. That's what's happening here. Um, so you can already see what's happening. You can make changes. There we go. And in fact, it's giving you uh, if what this thing has done is for each of those changes, right? If you've noticed, upload successful. It's showing you for each item the old value and the new value, right? So, new value, Irish aid and joint program here. Old value, Irish aid. Right? Uh, new value, old value, right? New value, old value. And uh, the key thing here is we've fixed all of these, right? There we go. This is what I was looking for. So, the J Suite, uh, this. Uh, odd value, I don't know if this shows odd value, but we, this had a missing, there was one which had a missing author, we just added it here. 
um, I hope it's not a test, by the way. I'm wondering why you could have an item without a, uh, a thing here. But also, I can check for G Suite um, and search for where we had duplicate authors. There we go. The duplicate, right? If you notice, this item had, um, we. I don't know why this, uh, there could be something wrong. Ah, thank you very much. Yes. Yes, someone, someone is from the, and I wonder if it's Father Grant here. They, they use the same spelling for center in Canada for thing, right? As the Americans, is it? So, so but, but, but you can notice, not that uh, I'm saying it's him, but if you, you can notice here the change here, yeah, inconsistencies. But anyway, so this, this has been done, and uh, we, can, we can actually say apply changes now, if we are happy with this change. So it's not like it's done right then. Then you have the opportunity to verify that the changes you've made are actually okay. If you've done something wrong, you say return, edit the, the CSV file again, and then re-upload it or something. So we'll apply these changes, um, and then we'll have. And this is a good thing because uh, you are adding more and more things. I would be surprised if by next week you probably have uh, maybe three thousand, maybe, maybe two thousand. Yeah, if we've added more, of, close to a, a thousand this week, what would stop us from adding a thousand more? Next. That's true. That's that's true. No, but uh, if the training is different because what we've been doing for training is we've been moving around when you're waking. I don't think, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, so the the import is successful, and 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 it tells you that we've processed a total of four hundred and ninety-one changes. Right. So, so that and you can check those sample records we had checked, like this one. If we refresh now, this Irish aid hopefully will change from Irish aid to Irish aid and joint country program. Right. And the one that had dupli duplicate just with. Uh, Center for Theological um, Reflection we will have only one entry, right? I, I don't know why this thing is, I wonder why it hasn't changed here, right? What I'll do is, I'll open a new, I mean a private window just in case, caching and whatnot. Um, but we can, we can check the other one that you had uh, hopefully processed and see if uh, that would have changed as well. Are you able to check the nine? You said nine nine four something. Yes, nine nine four. This has, this for some weird reason this hasn't changed. I don't know why. Let's can can we check uh, the others that have. Irish aid. For some weird reason, there are some Irish aids that haven't changed, and I wonder if um, it could be that because we are doing exact matches, maybe this Irish aid has a space afterwards, or maybe there are two spaces after Irish and aid. Because if you notice, we had like 400 and something that we are processed. Mm -hmm. But but we can check to see if uh, because we can't filter by sponsor, I think it's not a facet. But what we can do is we. Can Irish Hyphenated, yeah? No. no. With all caps. Ah, right. Yeah. So maybe that could be a reason why. But, but in any case, I mean, uh, I wonder if we can. Uh, well, and I, I closed it. We could have, and I, I could have, and, and, and done everything. I, I, the changes I made to try and see. Maybe let's try and uh, uh, check. We can check the other item, the one which this item had two Jesuits. Let's see if this has been corrected. Right? Uh, if not, then I'm sure we've done something wrong. This hasn't been corrected as well. We may have done, we may have not done something here for some weird reason. Uh, but we can also check. So, so we can check. We can check this individual. If you notice, only 491 items have been changed. We can have we processed these? I wonder. Maybe they're still being processed, but. We can check because this tells us, it's telling us that this has been removed and it's been replaced by this. So we can check the ones that have been shown to us here. Right? This shows us, this is a report of what has been changed. So what we can do is we can check this, right? And hopefully, if we replace this handle, 
with this one. Maybe this has actually changed to gen country program. If it hasn't, then probably it's some caching issue or something. I don't know, we'd have to restart the server or something. But uh, uh, hopefully, this has changed though, if you notice, mm -hmm. right? There are some that haven't changed. I'm not quite sure why we can, uh, you know, export them again and then check. I, I, was, I was making suspicion, you know, when you're doing data entry and you're in a hurry like this, especially, and I do apologize here, there were instances where I was saying, uh, look, I've done all of these years, and you start panicking, <laughs> right? <laughs> and in the process, maybe you add two spaces instead of one or something, I apologize for that. But, but the key thing is, you can see that now the ones that have just JCP have been fixed, actually, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, so, so you have an idea. Uh, the person who would be doing this is, uh, I don't know who is going to be working closely with the volunteer, there has got to be a way of checking if somebody is doing the correct thing, right? Like if somebody who's just joined the organization, because they are more likely to make errors here. So what you'd be doing is quickly, just randomly checking records that have been entered. And when you notice an error, and you do like uh, an in-depth investigation and realize that the error has been made on multiple items, you'd use this method to export the metadata, make the changes, and then import. Mm 